Hi guys, welcome back. Eventually we are back on the channel and today we are playing a brand new game on the channel. It's called Chrono Photo, very similar to GeoGuessr except you're guessing the year that a photo was released. It is a really, really, really fun game and I've had a little bit of practice so you might see a little bit of scores but I'm not great at this so it's going to be quite funny. Of course, guys, a bit of a note on the channel. Of course, we've not had content for a little while. It is because I got concussed uh, playing rugby. Um, so I've not been able to record. I've not been around screens too much. Uh, and I've been trying to stay away from it. So I'm sorry for the lack of the content. But that's why, guys. Um, so please don't hold that against me too much. But we are back. And I thought today is the first day recording back. We're going to record something a little bit easier to record. A little bit more casual. So let's get into this. And... From my practice, guys, I can tell you there's certain eras where I'm really good, certain eras where I'm terrible. The 30s to about 55, honestly, the style, everything like that looks so similar to me that I just can't get it. It's so, so difficult. Now, my internet is being an absolute pig today. <laughs> it is being terrible. So it might take a little while to load. If oh, no, here we are. Okay. So we have Boa Sorpalinka, Zvak Unik. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, right, so I believe. Hmm, I was going to say I believe that was Polish, but Jura Dalmi does not sound too Polish to me. This is interesting. We know it's it's quite old, obviously. Uh, look at that old lathe um, and vice there as well. Very, very old. You are down the Baroque. It's just the styles. This is what you have to get with this game. You have to go through the styles and try to work out where we are. Now, to me, this looks like it could be from anywhere from... So this is the hard thing. These really old ones. They're really difficult to get. Obviously, I'm gonna say that this is the 20s. I don't think this is earlier than the 20s Looking at the attire they're wearing. They don't look Victorian But then again, they're very simple clothes, but it they are just workers um, Of this shop, I'm assuming So I'm gonna say 1921 and let's see now the aim guys is to try and get it was 1930 I told you the 30s to the 50s. It's just it's so hard and then that gap the 20s to 30 it's quite difficult, and you don't get that many points for being so far away. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, first round done. First round. Let's get on to the next one. Not great. I'm going to aim. So you get 1,000 points if you get it right. The aim I'm going to try and go for is 3,000 points eventually. Now, whether we get that today is a completely different question. This is difficult. So now we have a Taco Burrito Empanados. 75 cents. If you knew the rate of inflation, <laughs> then you could work this out easily. But no. To me, let's have a look at that style. Problem is as well, when you're someone my age, you didn't grow up with this. I'm sure some of you that are a bit older would be like, oh, that that's the haircut from the 80s or that's a haircut from the 90s or the 70s or whatever. But, you know, I didn't grow up with this. I didn't grow up through these times. I was born in 97. So anything after that point, I should be able to get. But <laughs> before that point, it can be a bit of a mystery. Now, to me, although the, f the photo quality I've found in this is not always representative of what the final result's going to be. I mean, the photo quality to me looks 70s. But this could easily be 80s and 90s. And I think I'm going to go hedge our bets. I think I'm going to say 80... I'm going to go 89. I don't know why. I've just got a feeling. These these sort of hairstyles, these puffy hairstyles on the women. The curtains are back. Uh, a lot of denim around. A lot of denim. A lot of jeans. Um... It's definitely after sort of women's liberation, of course. All these women wearing jeans, not dresses or skirts or anything like that. 
So, I think this is late 80s, early 90s, so let's have a go. That was 77. That was the 70s. Okay. So we know there was a lot of denim in the 70s. We're learning each round. We're learning each round, guys. This is hard, bro. This is hard. Give me a World War II. Come on. <laughs> and we, we're, we've got points then. World War II, just give us. Okay. So we have Victorian people. Clearly. Uh, very, very old, this. Surely. I mean, look at the way these, these ladies are dressed. Look at those hats. They surely are the most impractical hats. Look how big they are. They must be heavy as well, bro. <laughs> they must be so, so heavy. They look so impractical. Don't think we can get anything off that flag. I mean, it's not going to make a difference if it's an American, a British flag. Um, you know, any sort of flag. It's not going to help us. Uh, it looks to me very much Victorian. I'm going to say about 1905 to hedge our bets. Because if we go for 1900, you know, we haven't got any any gap on the left. So hedge our bets on 1905. And let's see. 1902. So it was even earlier. I knew these guys looked Victorian. It's, uh, yeah. So that was a bit of an easier one. Good. Good. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Right. This, very much to me, looks like the Charlottesville protests. Now, when was that? <laughs> this is a tough thing, right? For, for events that happened very recently, for events that happened very recently, you know, they kind of, they sort of meld into one and remembering the year that they happened, is really hard, as well as, you know, COVID, for me anyway. I'm sure it's the same for a lot of you guys, but COVID, those two years of COVID just don't exist in my head. So looking at this, I think this was about three or four years ago. But what I should do is probably extend that two years and say it was five or six years ago. I'm sure it was. What was I doing five or six years ago? I was in a uni. Did this happen while I was at university? I think it was just after. Uh, see, I know what it is. I just don't know when it is. <laughs> and that's the whole point of the game. Um, yeah, terrible photo, really, when you look at it. Horrendous. Um, uh, is there any clues that we can get from the year? got a phone here that is like an iphone 5 or something i think this was about 20 i think this was about 2017 or 2018 if i remember correctly no i was at uni so when did i go to uni 2016 and 2017 20 i'm gonna guess 2017 i know i've taken a lot of time on this guys but I believe it's 2017. Let's see. Yes, it was. Come on. Some good reasoning there. So we've got 2,400 points. We've got one round to see if we can make 3,000, guys. And it's going to be a difficult one. I can tell. Okay, maybe not so difficult. Because these guys are clearly Victorian. Not even riding in a car. They're riding in a horse and carriage. So I'm erring on the side of being very early in the 1900s. This guy's running along. Oh, he's asking for change. Oh, God. Look how evil this guy looks. He's like, you think you can have change, peasant? And he's about to just smack him on the head with his cane. You can tell. God damn. Imagine wearing that, guys. Imagine going to work every day and wearing that. I'm sure some of you go to work in suits. But imagine a full cotton suit in the heat of summer. In which I'm assuming this is America looking just at the background and the way they're dressed and sort of, yeah, the place where it is. I don't believe that would be the UK. You'd see someone riding around on a horse in a field behind them with a, uh, a guy running. I don't know. It just, to me, looks American rather than British um, or European, uh, in fact. So, I'm going to say 1902 again. That was the one we had before. 
That was 1920. This is fucked. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. What? Are they sure on that? That's a literal horse and carriage, bro. 1920. Honestly, from all the practice that I've done on this, guys, I have not seen a 1920s round when people were dressed this formally. Like, they dressed formally, but there's a... Yeah. From what I've seen, there's a different style, but... <laughs> Well, that's our hopes of 3,000 going there, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look at our game results. Had this one, which was 1930. So we've got a, you know, look at these guys, how they're dressed. It's quite different to that one that was 1920. Had this 1977. Remember the denim for the 70s. Of course, we had the very illustrious sort of Victorian style over here. We had Charlottesville. Uh, and then we had this, which apparently is 1920. That, to me, is crazy. A horse and carriage. I mean, it could be the sticks in the middle of nowhere, so we don't know. Ah, but that has robbed us of our 3,000 gold. But anyway, guys, we're going to move on to another game. We've only done about 10 minutes or so. But before we do, I'm trying to turn into a proper YouTuber, guys. So at this point in the video, if you've made it this far, please do like and subscribe. And also, I thought we'll have a little comment for today. If you can comment, greatest background greatest youtuber background that would be fantastic because all these rich youtubers with all their money all their followers you know they've got all these swanky backgrounds but i can guarantee i'm trying to sell you here that they do not have mr cherry over here mr cherry has been with me for years and i can guarantee that no one has a personality in the background quite as enthralling and useful as Mr. Cherry. Why lying for? So, comment down below. Best YouTuber background. <laughs> right. New game. Sw moving swiftly on. Swiftly. Very swiftly. Uh, I wish this would load. My internet is being terrible. Terrible today. Right. Okay, so. We very much looks like we're in the civil rights era. We got denim, dungarees, sort of a uh, not a bomber, like a sports jacket over here. United States flag, of course. Vote. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing this is the deep, deep south. This is against. See, the black and white can be, can be brutal though. I've had a black and white on some of my practice rounds that was like 20, 2010 or something, and it looks so old. Um, but if this isn't Jim Crow civil rights activism, I don't know what it is. Um, it has to be, surely. We've got the checkered shirt. We've got another guy in a shirt as well. And if it was today, I don't think many people be wearing shirts. Um, it's just not the style that everyone wears a shirt. This guy's, I mean, got dungarees and a, and a shirt on. Not the style of today, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, when are we talking? We're talking late 50s, early 60s. I'm going to go... I'm going to hedge our bets and say 58, and let's see. Could have been an earlier protest. It could have been a later protest, but I think we're around that ballpark. So let's go. That was 65. Really? Wow. When was the Civil Rights Act? Was that 69? So maybe I was a bit preemptive on that, a bit early. Yeah. And tell me what the when the Civil Rights Act was as well. I should know. Uh, but it is American history, um, and my American history is not amazing. <laughs> not, not, not modern history, anyway. Okay, right. We have a relevant one. We have a Formula One grid. Now, I am sort of a new-ish Formula One fan, so surely I'm going to be able to work this out. Based on, we have Renault, so it's got to be 20... 18, 20, 19, 20, 17. I'm going to have to work out who's on here. We've got Lando and Carlos Sainz. So Carlos Sainz has been at Ferrari. So if you don't know Formula 1, this is going to make... This is going to be just... You're not going to understand this at all. <laughs> These are just people in Formula 1. Right, first of all, so Charles Leclerc. Okay. Uh, George Russell, uh, Magnussen. So let's look at some of the key players over here. Wait, who is that? A Red Bull? 
So we got Max over there. Danny, that's not Danny Rick, is it? We got Lewis and we got Valtteri. Racing point, we got Sergio. Yeah, Ocon. Uh, McLaren is size. Oh, Danny Rick's at, at Renault. So there's only a couple of years this really could be. Let me let me just work this out for a second, guys. I know this is a bit laborious on this one if you're not an F1 fan. Um, wait, who's that? Sorry, I'm getting distracted already. Who's that at Haas? Looks like Nick DeVries, but okay. We've got Gotifi over there. We've got Charles Leclerc and Vettel. So they're lining up in the order, right, of when they were. So I think this is 2019 because... Or could this be early 2020? So Carlos Sainz has been at, at Ferrari from last year and the year before. So that was the 22 season and the 21 season. I think this is 2020, guys. I think it is. Could be 2019, though, couldn't it? 2020, let's... Yes, okay. God, it took me a while. <laughs> Proper Formula 1 fans would, uh, you know, um, get that pretty quickly. <laughs> But yeah, it took me a little bit to work out. Right, so Jesus Christ, mate, you are brave. All of these fellas. Good lord. You have to have some balls to do that. You look at what he's standing on, bro. <laughs> he's literally standing just right on the tippy top. So what I think we might be looking at here is the building of the um, Empire State Building. And... I don't know when that was built. Again, American history. I don't know. There's a lot of American stuff in here, honestly. So, right. Let's have a look at this street down here. Are there cars? I think the Empire... For some reason, the, the year that's going through my head is 1911. And I don't know why. I mean, I have nothing else to go on. So I'm going to go for it. Let's go. 1927. Honestly, I thought we would have seen more obvious cars down here if it was that late. See, this era is just... Ah, it's brutal, bro. It's brutal. Like, how would we work that out? I've got to remember, though, that, that literally 1927, like... It was dead, bro. <laughs> it was dead. <laughs> they didn't have, like... Yeah, they didn't have a lot of the modern amenities that we have today. They didn't even have antibiotics. So, yeah, it was a dead time to be alive. Right. Round four. What are we on, on this? Oh, it doesn't tell you. I wish it would tell you accumulative. But no, it doesn't tell you. Right, okay. We have something that might not be America. That is, of course, interesting. Okay, maybe it is America. Space Baby. The only thing we're going to get from here... He's got a Bayern Munich shirt on, this bloke. Okay, I was going to say it, it did... It looked more like... Yeah, it's South America. I don't think this is Spain. Let's have a look at some of those number plates. Yeah, not Spain. We don't have the blue EU on there. I mean, it could be... Uh, no, that's not um, that's not Portuguese. It's definitely Spanish, I think. <laughs> Someone's going to be commenting down below. That's Portuguese, bro. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. Have a look in here. We're in round four or five, are we? That's really... Yeah, we're in Mexico. Really not much to go on here apart from the cars. Now that... I think we're... Yeah, looking at these these designs of cars. I think we're around 2010. I'm going to hedge our bets and go for 2010. I was going to go for 2012 then, but, you know, they could just be, yeah, they could just be people driving older cars. That's the one problem you have with looking at the cars. I think, you know, there's no other sort of new 2015 
plus cars there, I, I would say. Gonna be completely... It was 2018, bro. Really? I mean, I guess if you knew football shirts, you could guess off the Bayern Munich colour. But, I mean, that'd be very hard. I don't think you would be able to get the year from that Bayern... Because, again, it could be any year. But that was 2018, bro. That's crazy. I told you, some of these are so difficult. Um, but there isn't many clues. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it had to be. Look at that quality of that. And whatever this guy is using. That's big brain play. It's big brain play. So, yeah. Let's have a look at our game results. Oh, we're so close to 3,000 that time, actually. If I'd have been a bit more careful on this first one, we would have got 3,000. Got full marks there. We got nothing on here. If we'd have just been a bit closer again. And here as well. Oh, well. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. It's a good, fun game, isn't it? Uh, really fun. I have enjoyed it, definitely. As I get, Again, I'm sorry for the lack of content on the channel recently. Um, but we're back into it. We're going to be uploading uh, regularly from now on. So, please do like and subscribe, guys. It does really help. And make sure you comment your favorite quality about Mr. Cherry. Because he is a very, very, very important member of this team. So, thank you, guys. Once again, and I will see you all again on the next video.